everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back. And in this video, I'll be discussing how increasing my water intake, how it's significantly impacted and enhanced my quality of life. So in the past, I've dealt with dehydration multiple times. It, it was to the point when I just expected when summertime came around that I may go to the hospital, I may go to the emergency room, do some dehydration. So just for me, out of habit, I tend to under drink water. I am from New York City. I'm a walker. You know, it's 90 degrees outside. Maybe a bottle of water is not going to cut it. My skin on my body is tends to be dry. So I, I like to, you know, lather up with my homemade butters and all of that. But at the end of the day, applying butters really just adds a greasy layer on top. really want to deal with the issue internally. Last summer, I went to a holistic health spot and they did a procedure on me and they told me that I had issues with my kidney. I had no idea. And they suggested that I drink more water. I want us all to be more mindful of the water we're drinking. I hear a lot about the controversies of the bottled water that we get from the different brands about you know, a lot of people argue that tap water, the quality of tap water is even better than those bottled waters, so who to trust? One thing I do know is that New York City's tap water, which is where I live, New York City's tap water has some of the best tap water in the United States, so that's awesome. But still, you know, you don't always know if you want to trust the water source, so um, especially if you're in public. If you're in a public place, you want to, maybe you're drinking fount from the fountain or something. It happens, especially if you're like me and you're kind of out, outdoorsy. Keisha, are you outdoorsy? That's a stretch. No, but I do like to go to parks and stuff like that. And I do like to walk around a lot. But, um, you yeah, know, I wouldn't mind hiking every now and then. But Which is why I collaborated with Oak Leaf to tell you all about their filter. Oak Leaf has this awesome water filter straw. It's designed to convert dirty or contaminated water into clean, drinkable water. Thirsty. With spring and summer coming, I'll be outside more often, doing outside events and going to parks and things like that. So I'm gonna keep this handy. The filter straw allows you to enjoy clean, safe water from the source or you can attach it to any standard drinking bottle for portable filtration. With this filter straw, you can drink safe water in an instant with no setup or waiting required. It removes 99.99% .99 of bacteria, cysts, and spores. So let me know if you try the oak leaf filter pen. I keep mine in my purse now. The weather is getting nicer and nicer. Well, it's kind of back and forth. The weather kind of sucks. Like, it's, like make up your mind. You can easily clip it to your backpack or your belt loop for usage on the go. What I like best about this filter is that it makes the water taste so much better. Plain water tap water that is, tends to have a metallic taste. The filter completely gets rid of that. It makes the water taste extra clean and pure. I also like the material of the straw. It's very firm, so I'm not concerned about damaging it. Due to the filtration system on the inside of the straw, you have to pull a bit harder than you would with a normal straw. But that's okay, it's just a heads up. You can pick up your straw at Amazon.com. I'll have the link below, okay? Check out my description box. Upping my water intake has dramatically improved my skin. Um, well, as far as my face, it's improved my skin on my face. I don't break out as much anymore. My cravings... I don't really have cravings as much as I used to. I'm a sugar girl. I love cakes and sweets and I haven't wanted those things as much since I've been drinking more water. So I challenged myself to drink 64 ounces of water for a week just to see what improvements I may notice in a week. 
and I got myself this bottle. This is a Powerade bottle. It's 32 ounces. I just refill it with water. And the first couple of days, it was kind of troubling because like I couldn't really figure out how to drink it throughout the day. I noticed that um, I would forget to drink in the morning and then I would drink a, a lot at night and then I'm getting up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. That sucks. So I ended up coming to the idea or to the conclusion that um, first thing in the morning when I wake up, I drink as much as I can. After I use the bathroom, I eat my breakfast and that's been really, really helpful. One of the first things that I noticed is that my skin, on my face especially, has been clearer. I personally don't deal with a lot of acne breakouts and things like that, except for when um, it's that time of the month. And actually I was experiencing the time of the month when I was doing this experiment and I didn't get any new breakouts. So that was pretty, pretty awesome. And already I've noticed an improvement in my skin. Already. Typically I, I would get dry patches in places and I haven't dealt with any of those. And the patches that I already had have cleared up or are clearing up. I actually had a physical about a week ago and with my general practitioner and there were no issues. That was before my 64 ounce a day challenge but I want to tell you guys that before I started this challenge I was drinking more water. I just wasn't measuring the amount of water I was drinking so I had already been on my more water grind. Going to the bathroom more often is very good for you especially women. We women it's really good for our feminine health so I've been you know happy about that this it looks like a pen but it's the filter I guess you can call it a filter pen if any of you are on a a water challenge let me know your experience in the comments below remember to thumbs up this video leave me a comment below subscribe follow me on Instagram at killer does that thanks for watching be sure to get your copy of my new book more than a hair journey the black woman's guide to self-love and lock maintenance link in my bio thanks for watching Love, light, and locks.